Your two premier NBA handicappers with you on this Monday to go all around the association, nearly at the three-week point of this 2024-25 NBA campaign. And only one team still stands unblemished. That's the Cleveland Cavaliers at 11-0, and hoping for 12 tonight in Chicago inside the United Center against the Bulls. Five games on this Monday night NBA slate where all five tip at 8 p.m. Eastern or a few minutes after. Eight-point spread DRS in favor of the Cavs on the road in Chicago taking on the Bulls. 237 is the total. What do you like? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick with the let the good times roll here with the Cleveland Cavaliers coming in relatively healthy. Garland, Mitchell, Okoro, Mobley, and Allen expected in that starting lineup. You do have a decent Bulls lineup, but if you're just being honest, you look at the numbers, it's a heavy slant towards the Cavaliers, or rightfully so. Most people aren't trying to step in the way of them. That line opened up at 7.5, now sits at 8. We'll see how that line ends up tonight, but why not, man? The Cavs are beating teams down and good teams down at that. I'll take the yeah. Cavs to handle their business on the road by double digits tonight. Big win for Cleveland on Friday, blowing yeah. out the Golden State Warriors. It was yeah. the only road loss this year for the Dubs. Cleveland is perfect at 11 and 0. They have covered in 9 of the 11. They have gone over in 8 of the 11. That's a very large total at 237. Now, to blend the NBA with the NFL and just the temperature of sports in Chicago, Matt Eberflueser, the head coach of the Bears, was doing a live radio show this morning, but his cell phone connection was so bad, DRS, he dropped off Mm. three times, leading to the ultimate cancellation of the interview. Was it a ploy, or was it just bad cell phone connection? The cell phone connection almost representative of what the Bears have dealt with this year on the turf. Is that who's their president? Is it Kevin Warren, the guy who used to run the uh, Big Ten? I believe Correct. that's his name. Big maybe, Ten, yeah. maybe he was trying it to is. call in and interfering there, trying to get a hold of him. You got, yeah. yo, don't go on the radio. I'm gonna, we got to work out how we're going to get you this compensation package as we get you out of town later in the day. Maybe it was that. Do it again. Do it again. What would Virginia McCaskey yeah. say about uh, a bad cell phone connection? Uh, yeah, hold on. Here, here's how it would go. You show up at uh, McCaskey Way or whatever the Bears practice facility is. You walk in the door, Hall, and yeah. Eberflus goes, yeah, Hallis Hall, Miss McCaskey, I'm so upset that we lost yesterday. Ah, oh, you did such a good job, little boy. You tried your best. And, and who, who are you again? You say you coach my team. <laughs> that's how it went down. Yeah, that's how it went down. They told you Virginia McCaskey about Hall? the self. Does she hang out there? What? What does she do during the day? I... Does she hang out there? Book clubs, maybe? That's what one does she of the cat. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Her son, George McCaskey, is the chairperson. Apparently, he drives a 1996 Toyota Camry to make sure that he can be frugal to try to spend all the money on the Bears. That's what they say. That's the lore out of the Windy City. He's the cousin of NFL ownership. Oh, my goodness. goodness. He's the Mitch Trubisky of the job interview that the Bears then drafted Mitch Trubisky because he used to drive a beaten-up Toyota to show his work ethic. It ain't working in the Windy City. They told Virginia about the drop cell phone connection. She said, cell phones? Our (laughs) stand-up comedy bit is over. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hello, Sonny. I can't hear you through the tin can. What did you say? You're the coach of the Bears? Oh, there you go. How about that? Yeah. This is a good time. We're having a lot of fun. I really like Mondays with you, DRS. We should do it more often. Look, and, All right, Oklahoma and, City tonight for the Philly Thunder. Uh-huh. It is. It is. The Thunder got beat last <laughs> night big at home by Golden State. And some more bad news for OKC. They're promising third-year player. Chet Holmgren, who missed the entirety of his rookie season, then was mostly healthy last year, is now going to be out for 8 to 10 weeks dealing with a hip fracture. OKC, only two losses off to an 8-2 start. They are a 7-point home favorite tonight against the Clippers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The last seven games. The reason I bring that up here is I'm trying to focus on the Clippers themselves to make some money myself. How about Norman Powell, Ben? At least three or more three-point shots made over his past seven games. That's the way I look tonight. And also, you might be catching OKC on that down. Oh, no. Chet's going to be gone for three months here. The three-point shots need to rain down here for the Clippers. I'll take the Clippers tonight. Give me the seven points here and a lot of three-point shots by my guy, Norm. The Clips have played seven of their first 10 games at the Intuit Dome, but they are a perfect 3-0 straight up on the road. More injury news for the Pels. Zion Williamson out for some time. They're a slight home (laughs) underdog tonight in the Big Easy against the Nets. 
Some people's bodies are just broken at birth at this point. That's one of those where we wanted to see so much excitement out of Zion and the fact he's never, he is never going to be healthy. But you know what? They'll probably re up him for like a $400 million contract in the next year and a half anyway, just to do that. So the Pels have lost four straight. It is not good.